What's up, guys? It's Flackfire. First of all, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. I'm uh, at over 100 subscribers now, so that's exciting. I really appreciate the support. If you're just in and visiting, please subscribe on your way out. But uh, let's get to what I came here to do today, and that's talk about Hand of Fate as part of the Xbox Live Games with Gold program. And I've played my fair share of games, not just video games either. I've spent time playing the card game Magic the Gathering, the board game Betrayal, House on Haunted Hill, and even dabbling in Dungeons and Dragons. So uh, I was not sure what to expect from Defiant Development's hybrid roguelike action RPG deck builder Hand of Fate. But uh, I do know it is currently available to download for free for Xbox Live Gold subscribers. So I thought, what the heck? And it turned out to be a very good decision. Hand of Fate tells a story using cards, which has a couple great effects. The game is always different because of the randomness of the draw, and you unlock new cards while you play. The end result is a sprawling role-playing game with plenty of adventure to be had. You further your character's story by moving a token from card to card, revealing a new situation on each card that your character must face. You'll have to balance your character's health and food needs as you progress, making sure you're prepared for the worst. You'll find loot and equip your character just like any standard RPG. It's actually pretty simple in terms of mechanics, but if you've got an imagination, you'll have a great time playing with your character. The game is also challenging, however. The dealer will sometimes place a curse on your character, and some of them hurt a lot. Countering this, you may find blessings in the game that will give your character a boost. When it comes time to combat enemies, Hand of Fate morphs from a card game into an action-adventure game. You engage enemies in combat using the A, B, and Y buttons, and can also equip other abilities on the right bumper to give your character an advantage in a pinch. The enemies themselves are quite varied. You'll face anything from lizardmen to ratmen and dust skeletons. The number of enemies you face is determined by luck of the draw, so you never know what to expect. In addition to these standard enemies, you also can face bosses, like the King, Queen, and Jack cards, which have their own special abilities and attacks. Make sure you have equipment with you at all times. Don't sell all your spare weapons, shields, and armor either. There are cards in the game that can take those away from you, like the Goblin card, and let's just say you won't live long without a proper shield, which I found out the hard way. There are two game modes in Hand of Fate, Story Mode and Endless Mode. You have to complete a good chunk of the Story Mode to unlock Endless Mode, but Endless Mode is where the fun is at. Instead of your character's gear resetting every round, you keep it with you as you progress. This helps develop the RPG feel of Hand of Fate. Eventually, you'll die in endless mode, but it's not for nothing. You unlock new cards that will make your next experience different and more interesting. If you do actually run out of cards to unlock, you can also purchase the game's singular pack of downloadable content, Wild Cards, for only $4.99, which adds new cards, encounters, and special items. Overall, Hand of Fate is a lot of fun. I spent several hours playing the game, and it may be my favorite games with gold entry to date. If you're an Xbox One user and gold subscriber, be sure to download the game. It's available for free until February 29th. And for more information on Hand of Fate and other Defiant development games, visit DefiantDev.com. Do you plan on downloading Hand of Fate? Have you played it before? Let us know in the comments. And remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.